talk is going to be about uh, electricity and how we can be have like a sustainable, eco-friendly environment with with electricity. So this first slide, which I have, hit it. This first slide is U.S. the U.S. generation of electricity in, in a month, and this is in uh, I think it's uh, July 2003 or 2013. Anyway, so as you can tell, the majority of the, uh, the electricity we generate is from fossil fuels, like coal, natural gas, uh, also nuclear, and then this sliver right here, that is all of our renewable resources summed up into one percent. It's too small to actually put on the scale for it to actually be able to meet. So biomass, geothermal, solar, wind, and then they have hydropower right here. So that's us. We're not doing that great of a job, but I mean, it's not, this technology for renewable like solar and wind, it hasn't been around that long, and we're starting to pick up on it, but uh, so it doesn't look hopeful, but there is hope. This is uh, a solar park in Germany. Now they have a lot of these. These are um, their main source of solar power. Uh, these parks supply roughly about I don't know, so they said anywhere, depending on the park, it could be anywhere between, like, uh, I think, what was it, 100, or like 40 to 100 megawatts. So, in Germany right now, they're leading in, uh, in uh, sustainability regarding like solar and wind. Uh, they're, actually, they're actually almost twice as much as anybody else. Um, so, just a, real quick, I know everybody's not an electrician, so a megawatt roughly can power 400 to 900 houses in it for an hour. So Germany has 398 megawatts per million people. So they have more than a million, then it goes up, which is, this is really awesome. I mean, they are, they're on their way to becoming sustainable. Right now, their goals, uh, I think her name is uh, the chancellor for uh, Germany, uh, Angelina uh, Merkel, she, her goal is to be 80% on solar and wind by uh, 2013, and 100% by 2050, which is, it's a goal, it's a really lofty goal, but I think it's possible. I mean, they beat their own uh, solar energy outputs every month, and they continue to upgrade and expand on these solar parks. So as you can tell, the list here, it's, uh, it's it gets pretty broad. Germany starts down up here, and then Eventually, Israel's down here, but the one country you think you would see here is us. And we're not, in, and we're not even in the, the top 17. We're actually number 20, and uh, we are right now producing about 23 megawatts per million people, which it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's still it's a start. So, just to give you an example of how Germany compares to us, that green blob right there on this wonderfully looking. PowerPoint slide is Germany, and obviously that's us. Now, Germany is a, it's a gray, it's a gray nation. They don't get a lot of sunlight, so there's so many factors regarding solar power that we can't really decide, like, oh, they're doing so much better than us, or we're, we're not trying hard enough. But they could basically power Honolulu with the energy that they create with solar power. So, all in all, what I'm trying to say is Germany is making 6.5 times more electricity from solar power than we are. And that's just in one month. So it looks bad, but it's not. Um, we can also expand on this. Like there's, there's a lot of new technologies coming up for solar power to make it stronger and more efficient. Right now, one of the main problems is that solar power is only, uh, it needs to be uh, 50 cents per watt of electricity needs to be generated in order for it to be worthwhile for us not to use <coughs> electricity where we can't use it. So right now it costs 75 cents a watt just to generate solar power off the technology that we have now. Um, one of the, uh, there's a couple innovations that have come out, uh, but in order for us to get there, we need to realize like, this is what we need. Like we, we have to have electricity nowadays to run our societies for like, uh, the industrial, the manufacturing, obviously to power our houses, run our cars. But uh, so how can we make sustainability through solar power? It's not powerful yet, but it's getting there. One of the things is uh, 
thermal photovoltaic cells. So real quick, solar power runs off of photo, uh, photovoltaic cells. Basically, it takes visible sunlight and it brings it to uh, an energy source and then we save it into batteries and use it. These are thermo photovoltaic cells. What uh, scientists have discovered that we can actually layer these under photovoltaic cells and get genera generate uh, electricity from not only like the visible light we see, but also thermal, just like uh, a lot of power plants. So there's not. This is not the only one. Like this by itself will uh, generate up to 35 percent solar efficiency for every every cell we have. Right now. The best cells we have are anywhere between 6 to 15 percent, which, again, isn't that great. We also have this new type of mineral we've discovered that's great for conducting uh, electricity or uh, solar solar light into uh, electricity. It's called a per, uh, peroscopite. peroscopite. Um, so this, the reason why this is great is because it's really cheap and there's no other uses for it. So. This could technically take a 75 cent power usage and turn it down to a 10, 10, uh, 10 cent watt usage, which is something we need. Like, if we want this, if we want solar power, we want hydroelectric, we want wind power to become something that we can use instead of being dependent on fossil fuels and other resources like coal and uh, nuclear. This is one of the steps that we need to get into to make it happen. But, uh, that's my speech, I hope you enjoyed it.